Hello YouTube, it's Dan the Fishman, and today I just want to talk about fish that I have and I found that many people have talked about and can be somewhat controversial in the aquarium hobby, and that is the electric bluejack Dempsey. So if you do any search on YouTube about the electric bluejack Dempsey, one of the main YouTubers that you'll see that pops up is Palmer Aquatics and many other people, and they'll say that it's a very fragile fish and that's basically almost impossible to keep. But that was about four years ago. Now, 2021, um, still basically the same fish, but um, I feel it's a lot hardier, hardier than back then. But one of the main things I want to talk about is basically just what I found with keeping this fish. So it's not impossible to keep. Obviously, it's a lot easier than something like rams, discus. Personally, I haven't kept discus. But rams, I cannot just, I just haven't had luck keeping them. This, I've had decent luck keeping it. But what I have to say is, though it's not as sensitive or just dies like what the YouTubers have said, it gets scared very easily. I haven't found, it's a fish that gets scared almost by anything. If it's a larger fish, a large piece of food, it'll almost get scared. But... As you see, I have it with um, other stuff being angels, um, garamis, parrots, and just other cichlids, and some even larger tetras. But, um, so that's one of the flaws. I have had some near-death experiences where it would just start to dash around the tank um, from just being scared. But, just make sure, like, um, how do I say it? Just make sure there's nothing that's really going to keep bothering them because if they're constantly being scared and stressed that will lead to their death but they're a beautiful fish they have beautiful coloration and especially when they're larger they're one of the most beautiful fish that you'll see in the freshwater competing with even saltwater fish but what i found um this is mine and you'll see it's an electric bluejack MC. But, as you can see, he'll get scared relatively easily. It's really dark. And this is what I found that's relatively normal. Um, when he feels normal. When he gets scared and starts to dart, that's what he looks like when you see him a lot in the pet store, in YouTube videos. That, that's what they usually look like when he starts to dart. So you can see a lot of black markings, but still, beautiful amounts of blue. Where do you go? as you can see beautiful amounts of blue but still very dark but obviously he can be he's not relatively aggressive but the thing is it's a Jack Dempsey and they're known for being a bit more aggressive and what I found to if you want to keep an aggressive fish with um, in a community tank like this obviously here's something this is a convict cichlid and she's Decent size, but as you can see, she bothers none of the fish, even these angels. She doesn't bother them at all, or the smaller cichlids. And how have I done that? Um, so first of all, I got her when she was first off. It's a female convicts. You unless you're doing a breeding male and female pair only tank, you want to stay away from males if you're keeping them in a community tank. They're a lot more aggressive. But females, not nearly as much, and they're really e very easy to tell. And they personally, I feel they get a lot more beautiful. So they'll get beautiful greenish yellow um, iridescent colors on their fins, even a little bit of blue. And they have a red belly. Right now, she's not showing it. She'll usually get that color when I'm feeding her. But you can even see it a little bit and how beautiful it is. And so start off with a female and get her very small. Even when they're smaller, you can so easily tell if it's a male or a female. And it's a beautiful fish and it's a great fish to keep. And personally, she's not aggressive at all. She one of the, she's definitely one of the least aggressive fish in this tank. But back to the Jack Dempsey. Um, so these guys can be a little bit more pricey. 
you can go for like a small one obviously you're probably gonna be paying 20 anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars which is a decent amount of money definitely especially when it's a fish that's about an inch but i definitely say you should give them a go they are very beautiful fish again they'll be very light colored i'll see if i can put a picture of them but you see they can be a bit aggressive but they're lighter colored when they're lighter colored that can be a sign of stress or sickness and you just want to make sure it starts looking like this. This is what I feel is a healthy Jack Dempsey. And you can see he's getting a little bit scared. But I've had this guy for multiple months. And he's been doing relatively well. And just make sure. You see, the Platinum Parrot, um, this guy's always a bit more aggressive. But yeah, and you can see in the background. I have the electric blue car and this is a fish that's more recommended of the electric blue variant since obviously a lot of people um this fish has a lot of controversy saying that oh it's very fragile and it's hard to keep compared to something like the electric blue car but i still really recommend it it's, the color is much more bolder i believe especially once it's larger since this guy's obviously inch and a half around that size and they grow slowly they're not a fast grower what I've, from what I've seen or from my experience but you can keep them with multiple things as you can see right here and I just want to talk to talk about it I know this has been a longer video but I just want to bring it up since I know a lot of people have been having a lot of trouble keeping this fish and there's a lot of controversy about it but if you ever find them they'll be stressed when you get them at the pet store but if they start to color up like this, become darker, you know he's probably going to be good. And the pH in this tank, obviously you want to have zero ammonia, zero nitrate, and um, a nitrate of a level of lower than 20. And you can see I have some Amazon swords in this tank. And I have a few other things to control the algae, being a Siamese algae eater and see some pandagars. These are personally my favorite fish to keep for algae control and they're somewhat like a low channel pleco and they have nice color having a little bit of yellow and black and they're not nearly as aggressive as something like a um, Chinese algae eater and they clean the algae a lot really very well compared to like something like a pleco also and the waste is nowhere near compared to something like a pleco so just a much better camera much better fish and I also have a rainbow shark in here. I also have him to control a little bit of the algae since they're also a, nice, a good algae to have, but they're also a aggressive fish. He's definitely an aggressive fish. So this guy, I just got him. This is actually a decently sized, like almost six inch Chinese Siamese algae eater. And I got him and he's been doing really well in this tank. He's been cleaning the algae well. But obviously when you have algae, you also want to have a dedicated food. There I have a rubber lip plug on this tank also. But yeah. Um, this video is mainly going to be um, keeping the jack fancy, but also showed a little bit of my cram. But yeah. So if you ever find them, definitely give them a try. They're great fish to have. But again, make sure you don't have, add them with anything like an Oscar, Green Terrors, or a larger jack fancy. Since... That's mainly how um, people start to lose them, that they put them with these larger, more aggressive fish, and they get very stressed easily. They get stressed very easily, and that's how they start to die. But yeah, this is a larger. This is a longer video, but um, I just wanted to bring it up. So thank you for watching. If you've made it to this part, to the end of the video, please drop down a comment and like and subscribe. It really helps a ton. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.